what is going on beautiful people welcome back to another video it's so great to see each and every single one of you tuning in again today i'm going to be baking up a couple sourdoughs it's been a hot minute since i've actually baked a sourdough probably coming up to like three four months and i think this is the longest time since i've learned how to make sourdoughs that i haven't had one in a while i've been making other baked goods and stuff like that but i got these hold on i've been banging out the sardines bro these are my absolute favorite to just break my fast in general so i fast in the morning or i fast you know just in general and i don't really eat until like midday i've just really really fucked with having sardines and bread posted my story and some shorty that's from where's she from like slovenia or Slo slovakia slovenia around the baltic region said her favorite thing to eat is sardines on a little bit of sourdough and i was like bro i know how to make sourdough i'm gonna show you i'm gonna bring you guys along we're gonna make some sourdough and we're gonna have some sardines to break our fast so bro stoked day because out of all the brands i know a lot of them come from the baltic region yeah this one comes from the baltic sea a couple other brands they come from the baltic region too and bro i was just super excited kick back relax and enjoy me bear Breaking my fast with some sardines. This is what we're working with today. This is loaf number one. I always make two loaves when I make sourdough, at least, and I'll decide what i'm gonna do with the second one later maybe i'll freeze it maybe i'll give it away but we're gonna get into the process i don't want to do nothing special with this i think just something super basic once it goes on you brush off the excess rice flour i always do this always 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 that's a dip there how do i want this bread to look and there's one line that's just once you got the bread goggles you just know one smooth cut tidy up the edges gonna go again but this time it's gonna be like way more horizontal a little bit of water not too much we use that rice flour to create like a little paste get a decent amount of water on the side tell me when i should stop right right there on the thumb we got this one today hearts no look like a little leaf snowflake pattern we're just going to do one directly in the center rice flour a little bit high and we're going just lightly over and then a little bit lower a little bit higher and then gently peel that away Confidently drop it down. I forgot, I forgot the golden rule. Hey, that was lucky. Alright. Simulene on the bottom. So Saldo's been absolutely memed on social media. Just in the cafes, when they get cold, they become like almost impossible to to cut. And that's because it's just, it just, it just, that's just it. Like it just happens. It happens to be that way. You can soften it up by adding some semolina on the bottom, polenta on the bottom, and then that stops the crust from just being just tough. It actually makes a massive difference. So second time lucky. Drop it in confidently. All is good. Baking paper is good. Lid goes on. To the oven. 30 minutes is up. I'm gonna take the lid off this guy. Oh, that's perfect. So that's how we're looking. Look at that bowling ball type shit. Push that guy back in. And then changing the function to grill. 20 minutes and then it should be done. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Slide that guy on. 
Sourdough number one, complete. This thing is absolutely molten, so no funny business. You can have a look at the ear. Super high, beautiful color. My fingers are burning, but first sourdough in a very, very, very long time, and I'm beyond stoked, eh? Beautiful. Pattern looks incredible too. It could have been a little bit better if I didn't coat the rest. It would have stood out a little bit more, but all in all, bro, I'm real happy. I'm real happy. Now it's just gonna hang out, cool down for an hour, and then we'll look at eating. Okay, I got one more to do. Just gonna use the same one. Show the next guy on. Okay, bread number one, bread number two, fresh out. It's probably been resting for the last hour, to be honest. You can hear that. Hoo -hoo! Man, we're on some money. There's that one. The pattern for this one got a little bit busted, but nonetheless, still gonna be delicious. The ear. Earring. Look at that one. Valid. Beautiful stuff, eh? All right, we're gonna eat this one. And then I'll look at trying to give this away. Whoever will take it, will take it. Okay, here's our bread. Tall, delicious, beautiful ear. You wanna know if it's cooked? It sounds hollow, beautiful. We'll give you guys the pattern. And we're gonna go straight down the middle. Seven geese. That is a delicious crumb, my friends. And the smell of fresh bread brings happiness and joy to all. Wow, look at that. Look at that. They look exactly like bunnies. You can see there's the bunny ears. That's how you know you got a good bread. After however many months making or not making sourdoughs, bro, absolutely out of my mind, stoked. That's beautiful. That's a fucking such a good thing. Such a beautiful thing to see. Reverse of bunnies, crumb, you know, it's a bit of gum too. 75% hydration too, by the way. So, 10 out of 10 how these came out. Visually, let's check them out taste-wise. I already know. Oh, when you see it like that, you already know. You already know. But still, gotta give the people what the people wanna see. Okay, so we flip this guy up. I don't want a flower side. And we're gonna go straight down. That's how you cut the sourdough. Massive ear pockets, beautiful. You get some ultra crisp. And then the other side. Look at that aeration. Bro, too good. That Balkan shorty said, a little bit of butter. I'm not sure entirely how this is gonna turn out because I do like using the olive oil. That already comes in the sardines. Oh. Have a geezer that. Two on that one, two on that one, and we're gonna go a little bit of oil on one of them because I like I, I like the oil I really like the oil that it comes with and to be honest I just mash it in I just smush them smush them into the bread 355 ending my fast nonetheless I'm glad I could end it with you guys eating delicious bread and my favorite tin fish of all time all right cheers Mm. With like a higher quality bread, it just feels like way more complete. With the butter as well, the butter is all good. It enhances the taste of the bread and the fishiness. Delicious. I need a season. I forgot salt and pepper. Nonetheless, they're still delicious because that the fish is a little bit salty, but a little added salt and pepper go a real long way. This is the duo.
It just feels way more substantial with like a high quality bread. It feels like almost like tapas. I'm a massive fan of it eh, with the sourdough. With the two different fats, I think I actually prefer the olive oil. Olive oil, it's like sardine infused olive oil. And it's a really high quality olive oil too. And guys, you know, excuse me, because first meal of the day, sometimes you just do have to like program your mouth that a little bit more to like just realize that you're chewing just to eat. Otherwise, I've, I've taken chunks out of my cheeks, my lips, so I'm playing on the safe side. The thing is like with these sardines, like yes they're fishy, but holy f they're flavorful, eh? They're just so light, beautiful, packed with protein. It's just like, obviously today is a little bit later, but having that between 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. is most of the time like the best pick me up that I could I could have. Other times, you know, I've tried um, loaded protein shakes with like oats, chia seeds, and stuff like that. That's okay, but sometimes you have days where you just feel like you just want to eat. And bread and sardines are literally they literally yeah they are literally it for me. Eggs, everything like that, it's a little bit too heavy. I had a pie break my fast months ago. I think it was like a pie and a, a sweet. I was comatose. Another time I had pho. I had pho to break my fast. It was like 11 a.m. or something like that. Bro, comatose, like, oh man, trippy. But that's why I love sardines, man. I love these little fishies, bro. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you right there. Make sure you like it up, share it to your friends, comment down below, or hit me up on Instagram if you wanna see me cook up something that you wanna see. And I'll catch all of you guys on the next one.